I'd like to thank Tim Nichols for sending in this rather cool gadget. I'm going to do a bit of an unboxing today and over the next uh, maybe couple of videos we'll play with it a little bit more. But at the end of this, you can win this. So please hit that like button and smash that bell so that you don't miss your opportunity to pick up this 32-bit handheld system. Hi, it's Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back of this teardown lab. It looks like Pimeroni have done it again and this is um, the result of a successful Kickstarter they had a little while ago and this is the 32 Blit. I'm going to zoom in so you can see the picture a bit fuller there. And you can see here, it's called the Game Dev Kit. And there's just a little picture of a gadget. We're used to seeing these handhold gadgets. We got plenty of them, that's for sure. But it says, 32-Blit is a modern remake of the vintage game development experience. Have fun coding against real hardware limitations and making your game ideas come to life in a tangible way. And that's super important because uh, I've said it, and I know we have among our Discord circles, that the main barrier to uh, kids and young people or anyone interested in the hobby of getting into actually writing software or games or just making computers do anything is that it's so difficult to have a dev environment set up. Whereas when I was young, we used to just literally just turn on the machine and away we went. So I'm going to open this up. Oh, that's good. I was trying to avoid having to break the seal. It's a bit of a pain. Oh no, all the stuff. All the stuff came out. So let's let's sort let's sort this out in a little pile here. And it's got some nice paper. And there's the device. There's a lead. And that and the rest is packing to so we can get rid of the box. So first things first, I'm actually quite surprised how large it is. Um, let's put that there for a moment. We'll have a look. You get some stickers. You get the Pine Moroni stickers. And let's see what we say here. Ahoy! 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 Ahoy there, shipmate. Thanks for saying with us through the stormy seas to having a 32 blit in your hand. This is where it begins. It will start off confusing, but then it will start to make sense. And before you know it, it will come together and you'll be making games of beauty, like building a boat or IKEA furniture. Except furniture doesn't have pointer exceptions. Ha ha ha. Etc. Etc. Uh, rum and love from Admiral John, Quartermaster Phil, and Captain Paul. And it says there's some useful stuff on the other side. Oh, this is useful. So. Just basically telling you what some of the stuff does. So there's a firmware update mode by holding that down. That's pretty typical for most microcontroller devices. This does have a 400 megahertz arm, if I'm not mistaken. I wonder if that's somewhat similar to the Nintendo Game & Watches that they released use recently. Exit game, mass storage mode, so you can actually hook it up to your PC as a pen drive. And then there's a bit of a PCB map, which sort of useful, sort of blurry, probably doesn't really matter. Now I've noticed there's no SD card in this one, so let's turn it on anyway and see if it has any inbuilt software. Now I didn't see an on, did I miss that on the instructions? <laughs> let's try holding down, oh, whoa! I don't know if you just saw that, but it just literally, I hit the home button and bang it was there. I don't know if that's typical, if it was just on all the time or, or what. And this does appear to be in some sort of test mode, so I might just adjust the camera up and we'll have a proper look at it. So that should be a little bit brighter for you. Audio test, okay. <laughs> How'd you get out of it? Backlight. So that's a menu, clearly. Um, exit game. <laughs> So that's a menu and that's home. So when I did audio test, I had to, I pressed this to go to the menu. Let's see what happens if I press home when I'm in the audio test. No. No, you have to go there first. Exit game. Something I just noticed, there's no shoulder buttons. It's kind of unusual for most of these things. They tend to have shoulder buttons. Audio wave. Press A to break the screen. Don't know if you can hear that. There's a WAV file playing. Put the volume up. Yeah, not particularly interesting. I'm really annoyed about this home button not taking you straight back home. Babble. Find as many words as you can in 90 seconds. Uh, okay, ring. R I N G. 
Um, press Y to guess. Yeah, we don't know which one's Y. I have to look at the instruction sheet. <laughs> which one is Y? This one, green. Found ring, hooray! Although you've noticed the menu's in a different mode. So I wonder if that's different graphical modes. It's a bit higher res. The lit bong. Now I did hear that the actual development system is based in Lua with, of course, C library extensions. So if you've used Lua, it's tremendously easy to extend the operating system or, or the um, language using um, C. And I said operating system, of course, because if you recall, we did have a device that I have to get back to working on, um, which is a pocket computer, um, which is kind of based on a similar philosophy, I guess. Okay, so this is Pong. Um, but the idea with this, and again, it's hard to tell in the box without going online, is that they have a complete... A development ID system for this so that you can just jump in and start developing it. Um, it I, hopefully it's easy because I just realized we're talking about this um, as if it's like an old BBC Micro where you actually have an interface and you can start typing but clearly on this you can't do that so it will have to be backed up by something else. Ooh, I went to power off by accident, let's power it back on and that that booted super quick, you see that? I, I think it really is powering on off that quickly. Um, fizzle, f fiddle fade. So these, these, I think, really are just a selection of demos. I'm sure if we go on to um, GitHub repository for this, there'll be a lot of um, these code examples because you could use these clearly in your your games. So if, if there's anything here you like, you can just lift them. So we saw that doom flame effect. Um, you've got clearly some gameplay here. I'm not. There's no sound. If they had sound on this, it would involve graphics, sound, controls, and rudimentary gameplay. This would be make, make quite a good basis for a, a game here. But I'm just going to skip them through it. Oh, let's just do hardware test. Oh, of course, look. It does have an analog joystick. Interesting. And we can see that working there. And I wonder if this has will suffer from Joy-Con drift. They're all... The, pretty much the same. Oh, and there is tilt sensors too. So it has got accelerometers, an analog joystick, digital D-pad, four buttons. So yeah, you've got some decent I.O. and of course micro SD card. Good. Let's go through. I want to see if there's anything substantial looking though on here. J JPEG decoder, so it can decode JPEG images. That could be cool. A logo. Palette cycle. Let's have a quick look at that. Yeah, so that's a nice graphical effect you can do. Cute. Palette swap particle effects. Can you do anything with those? Groovy. Okay, so Rainbow Ascent Raycaster. Bug spray your way through abandoned ruins. Okay, well that sounds like a kind of a game. Yes. How do you play the bug spray? I can't... How do you spray? Maybe you've got to pick up some bug spray. Again, no sound. I mean, as a tech demo, it's quite impressive. I mean, getting a little pocket doom going. But I'm, I am kind of disappointed that it's not a bit more finished, really. Again, I don't know how long you know this thing would have been in shipping. The demos could be out of date. There's a lot of unknowns here. This is just literally an unboxing video and first impression. Um, so I want to give uh, Pimeroni a lot more credit than I'm giving them right now because, again, this is it's impressive to get a system uh, off the off the ground, frankly, um, and to this quality. I mean, the plastics. Let's talk about the plastics and enclosures. This is super nice. It's got some really nice Allen head screws in there. It's a rigid plastic. The fit and finish is actually not too bad. Look at that. There's a little seam there, but apart from that, it's got this nice texturing, nice big bright screen. There's my finger for reference. Maybe it's about as long as a thumb. And that on-off um, speed is super good. The software actually does look quite nice. Even though we're saying there's nothing substantial on it yet, but really what do we know at this point? And that's cool. Look, it's got a mixture there of 3D and 2D scaling. Uh, looking at the, I guess this CPU usage percent at the bottom as well. Um, looking at the marketing for this, it does appear to have the capability to do a lot of graphical uh, things like mode 7s and things like that we're used to. 
Now this thing, I, was, I, was, I saw this demo before and I was like, what's it doing? And I can see what it's doing. You've got an object here and it's moving around in a, basically a sinus pan. And it's just, these curves here are just showing the line that that object's taking in the vertical axis <laughs> over time. I guess it's cute. I mean, I'm not quite sure why you'd want to use it. I'm guessing there's a lot of things to do with sprites and games where that motion could be useful. Especially this one if you're playing Castlevania and those flying head things keep knocking you off a platform. So I'm going to take this and over the next few weeks probably play with it and try to give it something a bit more qualitative in terms of my investigation but I got high hopes for this. I really uh, would like to see if somebody's done some... Uh... Oh! Has that got sound? I was going to say, a game that has everything. Sound, gameplay, the works. Let's see what happens in this one. So you're that little guy at the bottom. Ah! I think this is... Ah! One of those uh, survival games. Ah, uh. <laughs> oh, you died. <laughs> One of those annoying games, like Super Meat Boy. <laughs> so there you go. I think we'll sign off now. If you've got one of these, please let me know what you've done with it. If there's anything uh, you can recommend that I download first. And uh, well done, Pimeroni. We're getting uh, an actual product uh, released and a really good, successful Kickstarter. Really looking forward to seeing what people can do with it. Thanks for watching.